I'm always looking for ways to make my motorcycle run smoother and quieter. And, you know, I've been hearing about Dynabeads for years as a way to balance the tires, but I always kind of wondered if they really worked. So when I recently had a new set of tires put on my Goldwing, I decided to give Dynabeads a try. And you know what? The bike has never run smoother. Dynabeads are different than a lot of powders or granules that claim to do the same thing. These are extremely hard ceramic beads that roll on the inside of the tire and they roll smoothly. So they don't wear down the rubber, you don't get the, the rubber dust and things that you might get with other products. And these things work on everything, not just motorcycles, but just about anything with a tire, trailers, trucks, cars, RVs off-road vehicles all can use Dynabeads and they have different products to fit a variety of applications. You know you may be wondering exactly how do these things work? Well Dynabeads when your tire is stopped they're kind of sitting at the bottom of the tire but as the wheel begins to spin centrifugal force distributes the beads around the inside of the tire so that they're compensating for any heavy spots in the tire. Now this means your tires are always in perfect balance as you're moving and that can only mean one thing less tire wear, a smoother ride and on this 2012 Goldwing it even helped with that 40 mile an hour wobble. The method you use to install Dynabeads will depend on whether your vehicle has a straight valve stem, a 90 degree valve stem, or whether you have tire pressure monitoring system installed. The direct new tire installation method will work regardless of your valve stems and tire pressure monitoring. The direct method is how I installed Dynabeads on my Goldwing when I had new tires put on at Maxim Honda in Dallas recently. Now basically you just dump the Dynabeads into the tire as shown here and we're using a two ounce bag in each tire on the Honda Goldwing. Now once the tires are mounted to the rim you want to make sure the valve stem is at the 12 o'clock position before putting the air in. That makes sure the beads are down at the bottom of the tire. If you have straight valve stems and no tire pressure monitoring, you can actually install Dynabeads using a small plastic bottle that's provided by Dynabeads. And it's really pretty simple, it just takes a little time. Now I'm going to be using one ounce of the beads in each of these trailer tires. Now we start by removing the valve core. And you use the tool that's provided, unscrew it counterclockwise, and you need to be careful not to let the valve core go shooting across the room because it's under pressure. So make sure you hold your finger over the valve stem and the core and then carefully remove the valve stem and let all the air out of the tire. Next, press the clear rubber tube over the valve stem very firmly and get it on really good and tight before we start installing the beads. Next, let's cut the corner off the bag of Dynabeads and we're going to pour these into the plastic bottle very carefully. Make sure we get them all in there. Make sure to screw the cap on tightly and we're ready to begin the installation. Now the key to using this method is to go very slowly. Just slowly tap a few beads at a time and you'll see they'll go down into the valve stem. However, if you get a little too aggressive, they'll begin to clump up and they'll start stacking up on top of that valve stem. You may need to tap the valve stem with your finger or with a tool uh, to vibrate it to get it to go down. Now some people actually use a electric engraver tool that vibrates and you can actually hold that on the valve stem and that will help those beads uh, to go down inside the tire as well. Once you have all the beads in, you can reinstall the valve core and air up the tire. If you have an air compressor, there's a little trick that makes the bottle method faster, and it also works better if you have 90 degree valve stems. And basically, you pour the beads into the tube just as you do before, but now you want to insert your air nozzle into the other end of the tube, 
and carefully just tap lightly, uh, add air pressure, and it will begin to blow those beads down through the valve stem and into the tire. You want to be very careful and make sure you don't just pull that nozzle out of that tube, otherwise the air pressure is going to blow those beads back up all over your garage floor. Don't ask me how I know that. So take your time and just uh, kind of tap the air and a little bit, little bit out at a time, and as you can see, those beads are going down inside the tire. Now a very quick and efficient way to install Dyna beads is using the DynaJet installer from Innovative Balancing. Now this is a specialty tool that is designed specifically for this purpose and it works with all the standard size beads. You can install up to three ounces uh, of beads at a time and you basically unscrew the lid, dump the beads in, put the lid back on, connect the clear rubber hose that comes with the system and it will regulate the air pressure so that these beads literally just they just fly into the tire i mean it really goes quick uh, it's the fastest way to install the dyna beads